Welcome, my name is Ron Shaw and this is going to be a short video on how to configure a GRE on a Cisco router. Now, let's get started. Now, what is GRE tunneling? Well, it was originally developed by Cisco and it stands for Generic Routing Encapsulation. And however, it has now been defined as a standard in RFC 2784. Now, it is a tunneling protocol used to transport packets from one network through another network. Now, this kind of sounds like a virtual private network to you. That's because theoretically it is. Technically, G GRE tunneling is a type of VPN, but it isn't as secure. It, pass it just tunnels the stuff through the, um, the public network unencrypted. So, if I want to create a secure VPN solution, then I'm going to use a protocol like IPsec. Now, in fact, when you do point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, you actually are using GRE to create that VPN tunnel. For example, you can configure Microsoft VPN tunneling. By default, you're using PPT, which it uses GRE. Now, what uh, Microsoft point-to-point uh, -point tunneling protocol does, though, to create a secure solution, it uses the Microsoft point-to-point -point encryption. Because IPsec is not the only protocol that you, you, you can use to secure your tunnel. Now, let's talk about how to configure it. There's only a few steps required in order to create a GRE tunnel. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to uh, create uh, a tunnel interface. And the command for that is interface tunnel and then a number. You can do any number, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It doesn't matter. So you'd say interface tunnel 0. And this is going to be done from the configuration book. Now, once you... Um, create this virtual tunnel or this virtual interface you have gotta assign an IP address to it just like uh, you would any other interface and the command for that would be IP address your address and then your subnet math now I always like to do no shut now the third step is once you got your tunnel created you have gotta sit there and configure the tunnel source IP address in the public uh, part of the network so the command for that would be tunnel source and then you could say uh, 000 or you could sit there and say tunnel source and the IP address. Now this is going to be the IP address of your interface that gets you to the public part of the internet. Now I've got a topology here that we'll show you uh, an example for. Now the next step is you got to configure a destination IP address in the public part and the command for that is tunnel destination and then the IP address. Now this command you must use an IP address. You cannot do uh, use a interface designation for this. So you must use an IP address and this is going to be the IP address of the distant end of the tunnel. Now and then from there you got to configure the route to use a tunnel with the IP route command. Now we're going to sit there and use a static route uh, to configure this. Now let me show you our topology. Now here's my topology. I've got two routers. I've got Mount Pilot and Mayberry. Now as you can see here Mount Pilot has a 000 interface and its IP address is 180.80.1.1 and it's connected to the ISP. Now, by the way, the equipment I'm using here are Cisco 2610XM routers, and they're using uh, iOS uh, version 12.4. Now, Mayberry's router is connected via the 001 interface, and its public IP address is 201.16.1.1. Now, as you can notice on my subnets for my LANs, I'm using a public, I mean, excuse me, a private IP addressing. Mount Pilot's using the 192.168.2.0 and Mayberry's using uh, 192.168.1.0. Now on each one of these networks, I have a host set up that's using the dot .34 address. For example, on Mount Pilot, I've got a um, computer configured on that subnet using IP address 192.168.2.34. Now, that's going to become important here when I start doing verifications, and I'll show you how uh, this tunnel is up and uh, running correctly. Now, let's look at Mayberry's configuration. So, if you can see here, Mayberry, I went in there from the configuration mode, and I do interface tunnel zero. And then I'm going to assign it an IP address. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a private IP addressing of 10.0.0 with a slash 24 subnet. So, 
I'll do IP address 10.0.01 and then the subnet mask. I'll do the tunnel source, which is going to be S0 slash 0, or excuse me, uh, S0 slash 1. Destination will be 180.80.1.1. Now let's go back and look at the topology and see what I've done here. Now we'll go back to Mayberry. Now, as you can see on Mayberry, I have my outside interfaces um, zeros uh, slash one. And the destination IP address was going to Mount Pilot's IP address on the public part of the 180.80.1.1. So let's go back again and look at that configuration. And, and then I set up a static route using the IP route command 192.168.2.0. 255.255.0 and I told it to use tunnel 0 as the exiting interface. Now as you can see here, Mount Pilot's our configuration. Alright, let's get started and let's go to the routers and actually put this information in. Alright, let's get our putty open to uh, Mayberry here. As you can see, I've already got a, uh, a session open here. And let me pull up our uh, configuration for Mayberry. So, as you can see here with Mayberry's configuration, what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, create our tunnel interface. So, um, let's get into config mode. Sorry about the configuration. Now, let's go interface tunnel 0. Now let's assign it an IP address. And we're going to be using um, the 10.0.0.1 address for this uh, end of the tunnel. Now our tunnel source In this case, it'll be 0, 1. Now let's do our tunnel destination. If you remember, this will be the address of um, Mount Pilot's serial interface. Now, the last step of this is to set there and... Um, Create an IP route. Now I'm going to go to the uh, 192.168.2.0 network subnet mass. And then the tunnel um, zero interface. Now let's go ahead and let's um, issue a uh, show IP route command. Now, you can see we have a tunnel connected here. Uh, we have a, a static route that's connected to our tunnel. Uh, let's uh, do a um, show IP interface brief to make sure all of our interfaces are up. And we our fast ethernet's up, our zero zero's up, and our tunnel's up. So, at this time, I should be able to ping my host. So, let's go down to the host. Let's make sure I can get my gateway. Yep, everything on the gateway looks good. Now, let's go over and now let's configure the um, Mount Pilot router. All right, now that we got Mayberry configured, let's go ahead and switch over to uh, Mount Pilot router. So you can see here, I've already got Mount Pilot. Now we'll go over here, we'll change the configurations to the Mount Pilot. Now, I would like to notice one thing about my configuration changes. Now, I'm going to do something slightly different. This address here, if you noticed on the other one, I didn't put uh, the IP address of the serial. What I did was I used uh, the tunnel command. Now, the reason uh, I used it and assigned it to the tunnel. Now, the reason why I did that was so just in case if I do change the IP addresses of the tunnel, then I'm not going to have to sit there and rewrite my uh, static route command. So let's get started and let's configure Mount Pilot. Um, whoop. Config T. Interface. Uh, we're going to do tunnel 0. 
we'll sign in an IP address. Now, if you remember for our topology, this is going to have uh, the 10.0.254 address with a subnet mask. We'll do no shut. Oh, I got a spell shut, right? Now, we'll do the tunnel source. That's where the tab command come in, uh, real easy guys. Uh, source will be uh, S0 slash 0. Tunnel. Destination. See how that tab makes it a whole lot easier, especially if you, if you have uh, typing problems like me. I type too fast. Now this will be the IP address of Mayberry's public uh, serial interface. Now, the last step here would be to create our static route. Now, that's all to it. So let's do a control Z and let's do a show run and verify some configurations here. All right, let's look at our tunnel. Everything looks good on our tunnel. Our static route looks good. Now let's do a show IP route to ensure that we have a route statement to it. Yep, I have a static route. The tunnel is up. Otherwise, if the tunnel was not up, this statement here would not be uh, in place. Let's do a show IP interface brief. Everything looks good there. Now, let's, uh, uh, let's look at some other verification commands here. Now let's try the uh, trace route command. Currently we are on Mount Pilot. So the Mount Pilot subnet that my host is connected to is, let's go to our command prompt, should be the 192.168.2.0. So let's do an IP config to verify that configuration. And yep, I've got a 2.34. So if it's successful, I should be able to ping the Mayberry's host, which is 192.168.1.34. All right, now we can see that was successful. So let's try a trace cert and verify that the tunnel is actually being used. Now, I'll have a hop. Now, the first hop should take it to the default gateway, which is going to be 192.168.2.1. All right, good. Now, the second one should be the tunnel interface, which should be 10.001. And then the final one should take it to, uh, to the host itself. Good. Now, so we could, this is verifying that the host is actually, in fact, using uh, the tunnel to pass traffic from Mount Pilot to Mayberry. All right, that's all it is for setting up a... a GRE tunneling. I'd like to thank you for um, viewing this video and come back uh, later on and I will have a uh, video on how to secure it using IPsec. Thank you and have a good day.